Welcome back, folks. Let's play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. I'm the Mysterious JG. Sincerely hoping that the sound isn't all desynced on these videos, because it's pretty big happenings. Liu Bei has just become the Emperor of the Han. Now, okay, what happened? The Emperor summoned Liu Bei into his presence and offered him the title of Emperor. Liu Bei refused once, maybe twice, just, you know, the general, the, the, the ritual refusal that is part of Chinese culture back in the Dizay. And, um,. And the emperor insisted that he that he take the the title of emperor, and uh, the Yubei did. Now my question is: Does this mean that like the former emperor Xian, who'd be like the prince of, that he'd be demoted to prince of or duke of some place? Is he now like a, an officer in my force who I can make go around like you know, eh, you troops train harder? Will has increased by one. I mean, you know, probably not. But uh, oh, I gotta get Guan Lu out of here before I uh, get confused about where I am in the. Okay, I'm splitting this later. Yeah, but um. So, yeah, the Emperor demanded, basically, that Liu Bei take the throne. Now, here's the thing, folks. Cao Pi stole the throne from Emperor Jian. Later, um, pardon me, the Emperors tended to keep the, excuse me, throughout the rest of the Three Kingdoms, the Emperors just kept the throne until they died. With the exception of the fact, I think at one point a Wu Emperor was kicked out by his court and replaced with another member of the Sun family. Although I might be dreaming that. I think something like that happened. Definitely at one point Sima Zhao replaced, um, there was a plot where the Emperor was one of the Sows and, um, he, plot, he, he asked some of his loyal retainers to take Sima Zhao down and Sima Zhao found out about the plot. And um, Sima Zhao, by the way, being the main protagonist of the Jin storyline of Dice Warrior 7. They make him sort of this pretty boy. He goes around surfing on his enemies. It's freaking bizarre. But anyway, Sima Zhao and the novel finds out about the plot and uh, executes the officials. And then he, he, you know, he issues a proclamation that the, the current emperor is like, you know, his, that the, the country is in chaos because the emperor is not fit to hold the throne. And he replaces him with a different member of the Cao clan. And Dong Zhuo, of course, famously, Emperor Jian was not really supposed to be the emperor. His brother was. But uh, Emperor Jian was placed on the throne by Dong Zhuo, who replaced the previous emperor with Jian, who was easier to control, I suppose. And, um, of course, later Sima Zhao's son uh, is the one who deposes the Wei Emperor and establishes Jin. But, like, what I'm... I guess I'm kind of missing the why I started this. But the point is that when the emperors... When, when an official replaces one emperor with another emperor, they usually say, Oh, the emperor is horrible, and he is not fit to rule the land and must be replaced. When somebody deposes the emperor and themselves takes the throne, they usually tell the world that because their virtue mounted so high, that it was the will of the people that, that they be emperor. And the emperor is always like... Uh, emperor Jian, was, when he advocated at Cao Pi, he had to read a proclamation in which he asked Cao Pi to ascend to the throne and become emperor. And Cao Pi made the ritual refusal three times. But the Emperor knew that he would be killed if he didn't do it. But So they went ahead and they went through the, the, the theater of the Emperor asking Cao Pi to become Emperor. So, what's fun for me is that, like, when we just saw the sequence, Emperor Jian came in and asked Liu Bei to become Emperor. And Liu Bei was like, eh, okay. So now Liu Bei is the Emperor. But like for people in Wei and Wu, and even people in Shu who were not there, and even us, if we, you know, think maybe some stuff happened behind the scenes that we couldn't see, this is exactly how it looked on the surface when Cao Pi usurped the throne. So it's like, oh yeah, just because the Emperor asked Liu Bei to take the throne doesn't mean that Liu Bei's dudes weren't standing right behind him with a knife. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, Liu Bei has taken the throne, and although the, I'm sure that the novelist Mao Zedong, whatever the name of the guy who wrote the novel is, would go to, if, if this had happened, he'd go to great lengths to, to talk about how Liu Bei tried to refuse, and I was honorable and humble, but he, he was forced to give in to what was clearly the will of the, the people and all that stuff. Yeah, for as far as the rest of the world's concerned, Liu Bei has just um, overthrown the Han, personally. He's overthrown the Emperor, and he's... Um, he kept the name Han, but... Uh, yeah, he's basically a usurper. So which of these places had the plague, and have they fixed it? Now, it wasn't Chengdu, thank goodness. My old capital. I should consider sending Liu Bei back to Chengdu, just because that was, like, where this all started for him. But now I can't even find the city that... Was it Hanzhong? 
Did I get some kind of like crazy order boost from the fact that I now am the Imperial Force? That's possible, folks. There might be like a hidden in-game bonus where, um... Because it seemed like the... Yeah! The, uh, the plague has ended. We could say that that's because of the illustrious, uh, magnificence of the new Emperor Liu Bei. An order just shot back up to 100 by itself. I think that must be a passive bonus from uh, having the Emperor in your force. Let's take a quick look here. Country Han, title Emperor. Cao Cao is still considered the king of his country. Sun Quan is a general. Now that I'm the Emperor, can I like, take away their titles, though? I should be able to take away their titles. Matter of fact, now that I'm the Emperor, I should be able to demand their surrender. If Liu... If Liu... Um, sorry, if Zhuge Liang wasn't busy, seriously, this would be an excellent time for me to send him as an emissary to Sun Quan's territory and ask them to uh, submit. Because I do plan to, at least once before I go to open war with them, I'm going to ask them to submit. I think it'll be fun. And I just took over that. Wow. Killed a lot of troops there, it seemed like. Now they're going to retake it on the next turn. Li Zhuge Liang of Han's army. Isn't that awesome, folks? But there's no troops there, which means that one of these guys will waste a turn retaking it on the next turn. So let's, uh. For the Emperor! God's command! Unless we take them out completely on this turn, which is not impossible. Here I go! Vroom, vroom. Captured? Yes! UA Jen has been captured! 61 year old dude with crazy eyebrows. I decline. Ah, that's like. Spe I, he must be a character in the novel that I'm not remembering because I decline is like that special dialogue. Zhou Tai gets that kind of dialogue too. I don't know. He doesn't do much in the book. I mean, he's a general, he fights, there's a, he, he saves Saint Sun Quan in a famous sequence, but, like, where they get him saying things like, I refuse, I fight, mustn't let them, and they get that kind of dialogue he has in Dynasty Warriors, not sure where that comes from. Failed. I may have just saved uh, Guan Du. I think I just cut them off from being able to get at it. So yeah, good for me. Even though this will cause my troops to take losses too, I think I do more damage when I fight them close like this. I'm not sure. Certainly I only lost like 70 troops, so... If Chen Bang does manage somehow to uh, use a ranged attack to take over Guan Du, um, he's just gonna get eliminated on the next turn. What are you guys about? Zhang Liang? That's, that's Cao Cao's strategist. One of those dudes who isn't a Three Kingdoms officer, but is in the game because I didn't feel like filtering out the created character. Or there, there's bonus characters who are not Three Kingdoms officers, and I should have taken them out because it's already, it's already pretty unrealistic that I've got tons of created officers. People apparently like to play this game with forces made up of huge amounts of created officers, and I'm like, eh. I actually like it if it's somewhat faithful to the novel. Not that the novel is really historically accurate, of course, but... I can build... Probably build towers here... Bunga bunga bunga. Serve a Berlusconi in a bunga 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 party. The bunga 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 party is, uh, for those of you who don't follow international news, the bunga 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 party, that's, uh, the political party that's, uh, Silvio, Silvio Berlusconi, the Prime Minister of Italy, is a member of the bunga 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 party. It's actually the bunga bunga party, but I prefer to call it bunga 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 party. And, uh, for those of you who are really in the know, uh, I'm not, in fact, telling the truth when I say that that's a little bit of a reason I'm wrong. So. 
horses or horses of course. Let's recruit. Let's inspect. Let's drill, baby drill. Search. No. Employ. Yeah, there's a lot of officers I should be trying to employ. Eugene? You see the guy who went failed? No. That's, no, that's a different guy too. No, these, you don't want to join them? I mean, we're the Han army now, folks. We are the Han army. We have the sanction of the Emperor. There's Ji Hao Ba. I keep hoping that he'll join, but I kind of doubt it. This loyalty is down to 95, though. It's dropped the help a lot faster, I think, than... Uh, Dropped a hell of a lot faster than Jihao Yuan said in the same situation. Maybe these guys will join us now that the freaking Emperor. Liu Bei is the motherfucking Emperor. Join us. Join us. Liu Bei should be able to employ anybody in the freaking world. Because he's the motherfucking Emperor. He goes up to you and asks you to join. You need to fucking join. He's the Emperor. I don't think even back in ancient times, uh, everybody really believed it but uh in theory yeah see see you can hire that dude can't hire him but it looks like he can in theory people thought like the sun rose and set because of the divine power of the emperor so the guy who makes the sun rise and set asks you to join his army you better fucking join all right <laughs> i can't get these guys to work come on he's the fucking emperor join us Alright, there was somebody that he could actually hire, though. I'd really like to see you take charge of these orders yourself. Well, I'd really like to see you bite me, shoot get me along. I'm the fucking emperor. Anyway. The emperor kicks ass. Do not fuck with him. Because he's the emperor. Okay, I'm out of officers in your Chang. Oh, and the other thing is now if you look at the, uh the map here. Disasters. The Emperor's gone. Liu Bei is one of my officers, so he's not considered Emperor in the sense of, um, you know, on the game map, he's not the Emperor. Meanwhile, at some point, it seems like uh, Wei has taken over the port of Wan Ko, but they still have not managed to take over Lu Jiang. Although, it seems like they're really close, but they're just not... Yeah, they've got... More troops in those ports than Lu Jiang has in it, but they just refuse to pull the trigger and finish off the fucking city. <sighs> you guys are crazy. And then we want, well, the Keong Barbarians, just 20 days of food left? You guys didn't leave yourselves enough food to get back? But order is still high because it's the city of the Emperor. Yeah, my computer control dudes continue to screw up, but it's okay, folks. I'm the Emperor. So I've got a little bit more will that gotta get used up. Uh, see if I can build another ship. If I can, that means the first ship is finished. I can't. So let us instead, uh, I guess, recruit, inspect, and drill. Mass Songer's Christmas has gone up. In this war-torn world, people are standing strong in support of the Emperor. Cause he's fucking Liu Bei, and everybody already loved him, and now he's the Emperor. So it's like people need to change their pants to the excitement they feel when Liu Bei goes by. I cannot believe that I took the video where Liu Bei became Emperor and <laughs> made reference to Mishi giving him PJ. I mean, what's wrong with me? He's the son of heaven, folks. Here I am talking about him getting serviced. <laughs> It's like, you know, the Emperor's new clothes, forget it, man. It's like, you know, the Emperor wandered around naked, nobody could say anything because he was the Emperor. Liu Bei is going to get serviced in front of the court, and they're just going to sit there and watch. Sorry. Okay, inappropriate. Let's um, end this turn. This will end the turn of Han's army. I love that. Um, I'm going to watch these uh, soldiers of Han's army finish off the... Uh, Barbarian Citadel, if I can find the city I'm lost again in my own empire. It is a pretty vast empire, folks. It's easy to get lost. When your empire is this vast, we 
because you're Liu Bei and you rule so freaking hard. Damn, where is it? It's Han Zhong, it's where it's King. Tian Shui is the city, okay. Yep, and the turn of Han's army. Yeah! Sha Mok's unit has marched out. Liu Bei has successfully employed Liu Jun. Well, of course I should. I mean, he's my freaking cousin. I have the honor of joining Han's army. So Han Solo is now the ruler of our... <laughs> there was still a chance to save Han, folks. We took it. Now Han Dong is going to join our army, too, because we're the motherfucking Han. I'm so excited about this. I said I was only going to record like a little bit here in case the sound's messed up, but now I really want to keep playing. Jang Fei, command us as you see fit. Command us to pass out if you want to. As a matter of fact, that would be handy because I'm going to do that in a minute. It would be nice if I had my no, Emperor's permission. Uh oh. Oh, you jerks. You guys are still coming after me up here. This guy's got plenty of food. Let's go finish eating them off first off. Meanwhile, <laughs> Zhuge Liang, what is. Well, that is a huge fucking unit. What is your uh, naval ability? He's probably got an. Yeah, he's got an A. Sadly, he was not. He, I didn't send him out there in a uh, warship. I think I will send him out now. He's got to remember that he's got a tower unit with him, so while it doesn't really matter if he loses, as long as he doesn't lose every troop he's got, I'm okay. But if his entire unit's wiped out, then I've lost a tower, so that one's like. You guys are almost out of boats, Xiao Yun. I don't think you even ever got back to that city. You just went directly from wherever you attacked from over here. You guys have actually a ton of uh, food left. So, you're good. And uh, Guan Yu's unit. He probably also has an S, or an A in uh, Navy. Yeah, because he's like, he doesn't have an S because he wasn't known for any great naval battles, but he's too good of an officer for them to give him Bs in anything, really. So, Guan Yu and Juge Leon are going to go out there and just stomp the shit out of the South South Navy if they can keep messing with us. And, um, yeah. If I want to keep the momentum going, I really need to attack, uh, Puyang next. Puyang. Got more transport units coming. All I've got is a stable. I guess the smith is very, very close to being constructed but not finished. And this city doesn't look like it's going to get... It's got two barracks. A stable and a smith. Am I working on? No, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to build siege weapons or boats here. Wait, merchant? I... Went to the wrong thing here. Alright. Raising the will. Raising the roof. Oh, I've needed to reward for a while now. I thought, crap. Your emperor wants you to serve. Lu, join your emperor. I guess Liu Bei is probably not back from his last recruitment mission, so he's probably not really an option for any of these. Alright, fine. Most of the surrender from other forces. I'll wait till then. I know Liu Bei's back. Then I think I'll have Liu Bei pay a personal visit to Sun Quan and uh, tell him what's up. Ah, Sun Quan, my friend. Your sister died before she could marry me. Now you must surrender your kingdom. Pretty much. Jingsai and her friends are ready to build another farm. Oh, I should probably get going on greenery right here. Do, 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 do. There's a crossbow turret. There's a 
farm. There's a granary here. Time to start developing the granary! Yay! Way on has got a big, strong unit that will be pretty susceptible to tactics, though, because uh, nobody really smart in there, so hopefully that will not be a problem. but you can always use more. Now, when are we going to be able to get Simi Yi in our force? We've already got his wife. It'd be nice if we could get him on board. Chang'an is uh, part of another district now, okay. Still got more horses to, or ships to build there. Mm. I'm trying to think how I'm going to get Mass, or Sork and Nail, and maybe Mass Song right into the fray. And I think the answer is that once those ships are completed, they can go down with the ship and some siege weapons, possibly. Yeah. 2,000 technique points, but I'm saving up now. I guess I'll save up for elite spears next, or spears, crossbows, archers. Once I've, now I've got Elite Cavalry, which is the one I always like to get first, so it's... What I follow up with kind of doesn't matter as much. It's one's army, don't mess with them or you'll die. Leo Bay's back in town. I guess you just got back today. Son of heaven has been away. Oh no, their main strategist is like... Appears to be four years old, is launching fire attacks on our boats. Seriously, Zhang Liang in this game, I don't know who he is really, but he uh, looks like a little kid. He's adorable. He's got great intelligence and great BLD, whatever that is. Three heroes of the Han Dynasty, a strategist, and the Marquis of Liu. Okay, so it's so often mistaken for a beautiful woman. That explains why they make him look like a little kid. Or just young. Yeah, his war is awful. He's just like sort of a wuss, and he wasn't a great leader, but it's yeah, he was like super genius and everything else. And I believe he has higher intelligence than Juge Liang, or at least it's really close. Not a lot of officers in that game you could, in this game you can say that for. Okay, so let's um feeling pretty good about the sound. I think I'll risk another video. So let's end this turn and uh, get on with that. Now. Excellent. Couldn't build one here because it's too close to that first one, but I can build one here. Now if I build one sort of behind and between them, then yeah, that would severely slow anybody who decided to come up here not really worried about defending Runan itself, but anybody who comes up here to harass our farms, they will be slowed down enough that somebody can come out here with a cavalry unit and fuck them up. Alrighty. What else we got going on here? We got a mint and a granary yeah, almost ready. I don't think we're in danger of running out of food, so let's get the uh, get the economy rolling at full steam as fast as we can. Runan will probably not be a major city uh, as far as attacking. I might keep it in District 1 with a decent officer or two there, just because it's a place from which Cao Cao might decide to attack. I mean, not from which, but a place which he might decide to attack. But no, I don't think I'm going to be leading a lot of offensives out of there. 
Chen Liu, on the other hand, I need to consider this. I need to consider launching an attack out of here soon to keep this LP from stalling again. And I've got all these officers up here involved in this naval war. But this this naval war could go on for a while. I'm an idiot. I've lost all track of where all these damn boats I had were. I had a bunch of ships. Where do they end up? There's none in Juchang. Don't think they're in Runan. There's obviously a lot of them in that city down in the south near Wu. There's, yeah, there's none in Runan. Down there. Uh, did I transfer them to Wan? Here. Where the hell did they end up going? This is something I should be figuring out off camera, I suppose. I don't think they're in Luo Yang either. somewhere by my own forces. Now, I know Chang Sha's got some. Jiang Ling. Like, the, the, if they got left behind in these computer-controlled districts, they must have transported them somewhere. But where and why? 17 ships in Jiang Ling. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. Let's order some of those to be transported. I got a decent number of soldiers here, and I can count on them to probably recruit more. important thing is to get some of those ships over here. Well, they got enough they got enough of all of this that I'd like to get steal some of that too. Man, I never use all those rams. I'll keep some here because you know I'll just remember, hey, there are some oh, let me get back to the take them a while to get there, of course. They've got a long trip ahead of them. But, uh, I'll, yeah, so I'll... You bear in mind, folks, in the future, got some boats in Jiangling, and they might be building more, for all I know. <laughs> because I'm not controlling them anymore. I know I had a lot of troop, a lot of ships here. This is just what I do in this place. I got nothing else to do. I build boats. Although not as many as there were there. Jeez. out the troop count here. This city will... Is that considered a big city? No. It has no specialty whatsoever. But uh, hopefully they will have an... They won't have the best officers in the world. I can send some officers there. But they will have a big enough army by the time I'm ready to go into war with Wu to crush this city at least. And uh, be ready to start attacking these guys. This way controls this port? Uh, oh, wait. They have been controlling that port for a while. Okay, I lost track of where I was. This is like the, the mainland here with this ridiculous battle going on between them. 
Oh man, I said I was going to end this video. I need to get going on that. But I had started cruising the map here. This is where the craziness was going on. They're way trying to attack the Blue Heartland. It would appear that uh, that is still going on. Although, <laughs> cow cow? Are you fucking insane? Are you seeing this, folks? Cow cow is down. Now, I don't know what went on the previous few turns to get us into this situation, but Cow Cow is down here personally. By himself. Now, he's got 4,000 troops, so he's the only officer leading this unit. He's got. five naval units attacking him. He's in range of a tower. And Wu, as always, has an army of rams. Nine Inch Nails, Eight Halos. Congratulations, man. You are leading a, a, a ram unit into battle against Cao Cao. <laughs> oh, God. Meanwhile, up here, Wu, Cao Cao can't even get home because Wu has taken the port that he attacked from. Good grief. We're not even going to get to kill Cao Cao. Wu is going to kill Cao Cao just because he's being such a complete moron in the way he's attacking them. He is going to leave himself down there to get captured and killed by Wu. Maybe not even killed. They'll probably just capture him and release him. I don't think the computer tends to kill officers, really. Jihao Dun, meanwhile, has got a city of his own. Kayan, who I... The one that I keep thinking is... Yeah, no, never mind. This is that chick. This is the the woman from Dynasty Warrior 7 who isn't Genji, but is on way. All right, let's... This thing going here. Zhang Fei's got his own city that he's running. We can recruit twice in a turn. This is an awesome city. Yeah, now we can build stuff other than horses. We'll be ready to launch a massive attack out of here soon, folks. We'll crush Poo Yang, Poo Yang, no problem. The real question will be where do we want to go from there. I'm thinking we have to take Bay High. That's something we talked about. No, wait, we could probably leave Bay High and just take this port. We'll leave a lot of dudes in that port. Then it will be in constant battle with Bay. High. Yeah, it might be easiest to just push through and take Bay High. Uh try to consider if we can leave Zhao Pi in Cao Cao's hands. Although we might have to take it, really. Otherwise, we'll just have way troops running around getting in, getting in between our cities. Either way, folks, time for us to end this turn and then end the video. Oh, there are some troops that haven't moved yet. Uh, that would be Sun Wukong's one. Okay. Let's go harass some ports. I wonder if any of these Navy units have moved. I don't think any of them did. You guys just move so that the fire just goes out. Would you like to learn the secret of Shugelion? Secret number one. Don't remain still when you are on fire. When you're flaming, so to speak. You're not close enough to attack that thing. You probably can't get close enough to attack. Oh no, you can. Winpin! Bonjour! I was waiting for them to come over here and start the big naval battle. We're just gonna hang out. Do, 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 do. Hans army folks. Looks like there are some chinks in their guard. Hey, that's not a nice thing to call the guys who are guarding you. Just because they're Chinese, you can't call them chinks. That's wrong. And a bunch of... Oh no, wait, what? Who, who did that? Who took it over? Oh, I think I know what happened and it's kind of ridiculous. Yes! Zhang Liang took over. Oh, God. Ridiculousness. 
Alright, you guys, just because I want you to get some glory, you'll take out the market, even though it's really kind of ridiculous to use it for that right now. Yay, Sun Wukong's unit has taken out an arm. The true, true hero, the three true heroes of the land, Shi Grimmett, Sun Wukong, and Vulture Boba, have successfully destroyed our market. Anyway, folks, I'm going to end the video here, and I'm feeling kind of cocky, so I'm going to go ahead and continue a third video in this uh, recording session, and just really hope the sound isn't all messed up. Uh, but anyway, this is Mysterious JG, uh, playing on behalf of Liu Bei, who is the new Emperor of the Han, uh, wishing you uh, peace and happiness, my friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute, folks. I almost made a horrible, horrible mistake. Okay, now I can wish you peace and happiness. Alright, friends. Bye-bye. See you next time.